You're hurt. You should see the other guy. Never killed nobody before. What you did back there. You really are all Grace said you'd be. 47. He didn't suffer, did he? He made it count. but not broken. I'm glad. It's time we start afresh, you and me. Get to the point. You and your friends pulled off the impossible. You stormed the heavens, took down the untouchables, and yet, here we are. Status quo. It just goes to show, you can't fight power, Miss Burnwood. Power never dies, it only changes hands. The best you can do is claim it. I never cared about power. Power is a tool, Miss Burnwood. It's the thing that gets you to the thing. As the next constant, you can be the agent of change. Transform the system from the inside, or be transformed by it. No risk, no reward. I'll need to think about it. No, you won't. The real question is, what will you bring to the table? Look closer. I'm telling you, the file is trash. The Constant doesn't so much burn his bridges as blow them up. Arthur Edwards, whoever he was, don't exist anymore. His personal data somehow deletes itself from any system that records him, way beyond advanced. The partners spared no expense to make sure their controller would be untraceable. How untraceable? Look, I did what you asked, but Gray's gone and I'm no Diana. I'm not who you need right now. You gotta be kidding me. I see, eh? I used every encryption known to man. Who are these guys? The best. It's only a matter of time before they get lucky. We need to take them down. <sighs> you and which army? I know where the agency stores its files, mission reports, client data. If we leak it to the public. You want to whistleblow the ICA? It's the path of least resistance. Turns out. You are who I need right now, Olivia. I do this, and I'm out. So, what are we breaking into? Data facility in Chongqing, China. Run by a man called Hush. Of course. The ICA site in Chongqing houses the agency's data storage and analyst division. Needless to say, security is daunting. The state-of-the-art server vault is biometrically wired to the facility's two overseers. Imogen Royce, behavioral analysis pioneer, and Hush, a data security guru with a taste for fringe transhuman experimentation. Tell me about Hush. A former cyber terrorist for the Ministry of State Security in Kadanyang, who fled his country after one of the Po regime's periodic purges. He made a career doing cybersecurity for dark web deplorables human traffickers, organ harvesters, scum like him, with no code or conscience. ICA sure can pick him. No offense. Can you disable security? A dual authentication protocol ensures that any handling of data must be directly authorized by Hush and Royce. The proverbial human factor device to make the system impenetrable. Luckily, I found a loophole. If both overseers should unexpectedly die within a short space of time, the system reverts to a temporary fail-safe protocol, which I can bypass. Take them off the board, and you'll have free access to the data core. And I'll handle the rest. And you're sure it'll work? Look, I know, Hush. If I'm wrong, we won't live long enough to regret it. All right. I will 
leave you to prepare. Chongqing, China. This city is Big Brother's wet dream with more than 2.5 million cameras covering 15 million people. Privacy is a four-letter word in this place. It's pretty ironic that a cloak and dagger organization like the ICA keeps its most valuable secrets here. You'll find Hush conducting his fringe experiments in an abandoned apartment building. While Imogen Royce, the archivist, runs the day-to-day -day business of the ICA data facility. I just hope you know what you're doing, 47. out here with a bad influence. Have you had a look inside that room? You can learn so much about someone from what they keep around. No one's learning anything about Coming in. That thing looks like a crashed drone. I bet it's connected to the facility. Why don't you scan it, and I'll see what I can find out. This thing is hooked up to... Royce pings her if it's damaged. I can use a transfer from this one, but if you take down a couple more, I might be able to piggyback the message and gain access to Royce's phone. So, one of Imogen Royce's drones is down. If you find and scan it, maybe I can get something useful out of its chip. If only you had a sniper rifle, this would be the perfect vantage point to take down some drones.
tell me that room was unoccupied and I can leave. I just need to lock down the random sequence. Give me a second. I specifically said I wasn't... Damn! Nilly had it. I need you to shoot more drones, and I'll lock the link. I got nothing. Yeah, knowledge. If you had the money for just a fraction of the... Oh, shit! In one of those, I seriously doubt you'd be standing out here in the rain right now. Royce is on a big budget. No drones to plug right in. Yeah, I know. We can now listen in on Royce's phone calls. Royce here. Another drone just went down. It must be Hush doing this. Again? You scared him pretty bad last time. If you don't find out who's doing this and stop it, I'm coming up there myself. Nice shot. Keep it up and maybe Royce will make an appearance. Manned and two additional drones launched near Hush's penthouse. If they go down too, we know it's him. And then there's no more hiding. I swear he'll have to answer for this face to face. We may get more than we bargained for if you take care of those drones near Hush. That's Imogen Royce. Quite the betch, apparently. Nothing wrong with her look, though. Edgy.
my god. What the Not bad. I'll keep the signal up a little while longer. This is where you step up to the plate, man. I can see the guy over here. He's only wearing boxers. Hush, you fucking idiot! How dare you take down my drones? What? I did no such thing. You sent your ridiculous drones to spy on me. We have a truce, and I'm not letting your petty insecurities allow you to stake me out. Lotus Passage, now! And I don't give a shit about your condition! <sighs> For fuck's sake, Royce. I don't have time to cater for your stupidity. You don't have a choice. How do you think Main Branch would feel about you isolating yourself for weeks? Now, hush, the Lotus Passage. Well done. You've got two pissed off targets on their way to meet in the Lotus Passage. Sounds like a lethal cocktail, especially with you in the mix. Royce is just about to confront Hush in person. We want to hear this, 47. I've managed to get a hot mic hack on her phone. Enjoy the show. This is ridiculous, Royce. I didn't touch your drones. You liar! You lie about everything. You're deliberately trying to mess with me. Get me off balance to screw up my presentation. No, you're the one who screwed up, Royce. We had a truce. You promised you wouldn't spy on me again. I said I didn't mess with your drones. But now, you make me wish I had. Yeah, right. Those drones are just the half of it. Your condition? Bullshit. Your sneaky secrecy? Fuck that. You've crossed a line here, and there's no going back. I want to see what you're up to in there. I've crossed a line? You're out of your mind. You're obsessed with me. Look at yourself. Is that same behavior, Royce? Will the board consider you balanced if I tell on you? I've documented all your half-assed surveillance attempts, and it doesn't look pretty. Oh, that's rich. You talking about balanced behavior, Hush. You fucking paranoid shit. Isolating yourself, private security, obsessive checkups of your sat links. Oh, please. Someone draws down their curtains from your little prediction surveillance, and you're crawling on the walls in a matter of minutes. Well, my little prediction project is gonna change how things are done around here. You'll be the first to feel how. Oh, Royce. I doubt that. I really, really do. Damn you! Just tell me what you're up to in there. We're at an impasse, Royce. <laughs> and to be frank, I have better things to do. Need to wrap up for my presentation tomorrow. Hey. I'm I cutting the connection that. to Royce's phone yeah, now. And it says I can make a lot of money to be in some experiment. They don't want people like us for that sort of thing. No, they only want people like us. The flyer says so. That means it's too dangerous for rich people. But that's got hush written all over it. Using the desperate for personal gain. Maybe this is a way for you to get to the bastard. Don't do it. Oh, I'm going. This is my chance. I just need to find out where it is. Uh, the flyer has a symbol I need to play on the page. Umbrella with a witch. I am roots. Sit down, get a house. I'm never going on the rain again. What you're thinking? <laughs> but who's gonna be on top then, huh? Me! 
I can buy shit, food, clothes. I can take out your girl if I want to. Hey, listen. Ignore him. He's crazy. Come on. Just let it go. Why not? Yeah. I should get a girl. What else? He's crazy. A nice one. I'll scrub up, get real nice, get my hair done, get in with the right people. they started handing out to the homeless really got them flowing in. Yeah, but it creeps me out how they're different from this. Let's get you hey. out of the rain, shall we? We just need to frisk you first. Sir, I will have to check you if you want to pass, okay? This is just standard procedure. All right, follow me. Good job, sir. Thank you. That smell. It's you. Oh, I'm standing. Your clothes are so filthy I can literally taste the stench. When did you last change your outfit? Seriously. I change my clothes all the time. Yeah, I bet you do. It's in there. Go take a seat. They'll get you and the other guys through the sign up. Sup? And you waive all future rights with further compensation? Yes. Who would you like to benefit from the proceedings if you yourself are incapacitated? Would you excuse me? Oh, so Hush likes the last one I sent up to the top floor. He'll be the one to conclude this phase. I knew Hush would be pleased with him. He signed up. I was just informed that we don't need any more test subjects tonight. I don't understand. There's no work? Oh no, there will be more to come. Depending on the results of the conclusion to this test phase, come back tomorrow and we'll schedule a new spot for you. Come in and take a seat. I'm sorry to inform you that we have all the test subjects we'll need for tonight. But you're welcome to fill in your information now and come back tomorrow. A guard is waiting outside the door. He'll escort you out of the building when you're done. Help yourself to an apple. Fear trouble. I do need my vitamins. I hope to see you tomorrow.
yeah, that last guy wouldn't shut up about the experiment. Uh, an hour. What are those experiments? Ah. I, I overhear stuff, but I, I don't know. This is that supposed to make me feel better? It just feels wrong. I Hush the bastard. Identify. Wow. He looks a lot Prepare. older. Prepare in session. Point zero one one. Load suggestion. Motor control. Forty four point one. Execute. I'm ready to experiment. Oh, good. I'll let Cicely know to join us for the experiment. You're done for now. Come on. Let's get started. He's ready for you, Hush. He looks strong. Good. A good specimen to conclude this phase. We'll get started when Sister Lay's here. So, the test subject came to his senses, I see. 
good. Sister Lei. Yes. We're about to perform the final test of this project phase. Sit down. One on one with Hush 47. Ready when you Make are. Make him hurt. Junli, let's start at 100% signal strength. No. I mean, no, there's no need. The subject is clean, cooperative. I was thinking 25% and then adjust if necessary. 60% is minimum. We'll get no motor control below, and I'm not wasting my time. But. 60. Log concluding experiment, page 109 initiated. Run calibration 60%. Signal strength 60% confirmed. Page 109 initiated. Load suggestion, motor control 44.1. Execute. The signal's too low. Shh. I need to focus. too weak. We'll get nothing like this. Go to 100%? It's not safe. You've been working too hard. With your condition, it can cause you real physical harm. It's safe. You're strong. You can overcome it. 100%. Do it. Log, continuing experiment H109. Run calibration 100%. H109 initiated at signal strength 100%. Now I'll see you dance. Identify impulse string. Load suggestion motor control 44.1. Execute. It's too low. He's got spilled. Come on! Do this. Is a strong one. Quiet. I can't focus. Abort! You're going too far. No. He's on the verge to break him. Go higher. It'll kill him. It's already way beyond reasonable intensity. This subject. is abnormally resistant. He's no match for Hush. Nothing worth shit ever came to be without pain. I'm calling it quits, Hush. You need breath. Mm. Okay, okay. A short break. But I'll return with a clear head. God damn that assistant. If they'd up the signal, it will kill him. Stay here. Don't even think about getting cold again. I'll stick around. Go get Imogen Royce and we can get to the core.
focal point of the emitter, the heat damage will be significantly reduced. That the the Yes, I think you're a bit confused just now. I'll be back later. Give you some time to... Well, I'll be back. Do you ever feel like... maybe... you're part of something you shouldn't be a part of? No. I do my job. I fill in a few Sudoku a day at my kitchen table. And I sleep very well. How's that leg healing up? Have you been doing all that shit? Spare me the pleasantries. I've had an awful flight. Nine hours delayed, luggage lost somewhere along the way, and the airline is trying to avoid their responsibility. I'm hungry and I'm tired, and I want to straighten everything out before I'm doing your turn. Yes, so sorry about your flight. Just let me know when you're ready. So, someone is here for a tour of the facility. Might be a way to get in. Did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? No. I wasn't informed that I should. Oh, very sorry, Mr. Pritchard. We need you to bring the P-41 to get the tour. It's procedure. Please pick it up before you come and find me. I'll be waiting by the stairs in the back of the restaurant kitchen. The VIP has access to the kitchen. I'll be waiting for them in the back.
Hello, Mr. Pritchard. I've just learned that your plane will be delayed beyond the lifetime of the entry code you received for the facility. For your convenience, you set up the new code to be 0118 to match the one for the apartment. I hope you enjoy your stay. Hi, Captain here. Mr. Pritchard, I'm just going to tell you to give you a new one. This room's so clean you could eat your dinner off the camp. Hey there, you can go right in. No, oh, I'm not being focused while well, the kitchen feels like a train station. Fine, you're eating it. Close your eyes. Focus your mind on the distraction bonus on the paycheck. That's what I That is a calming bonus. Have a nice evening, sir. King here. Mr. Pritchard is in the restaurant. I don't know when. I'm ready to inspect the facility now. Good. I hope you enjoyed the food. Did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? Yes. I have everything I need. Good. Let's continue the tour. Continue, you may say. We haven't even started the tour yet. But we have, without you even noticing it, Mr. Pritchard. Invisibility is the best security there is. Can you keep up, please? Good, you're back. You see, the restaurant is, in fact, a front that lets all ICA personnel arrive unseen. 
who notices a dumpling cook on his way to work? Dressing the part takes you a long way. ICA guarantees absolute discretion to all clients. We take that promise very seriously, as you will see on all steps of the tour. Let's step in. Doesn't look like much, does it? Ms. Chen and visitor, welcome. Please report to security desk for visitor sign-in. Will do. I love the facility AI. It's really looking out for us. And we're in. The inside is a self-contained modular build that can be disassembled and removed in less than 12 hours if we are compromised. No trace we will ever hear. I agree. Leaving no trace behind is the only sensible MO. The outside shell is a building marked for demolition. We've put a hold on it with city planning. A deliberate misplacement of the order but have people in place to rectify that. At first shift, city construction will move in. Our policy around ICA personnel is that they are a resource, but also a risk. On top of contractual repercussions if breaches occur, we perform detailed vetting on everyone. The first, blunt vetting, is a frisk. We have, of course, never had any employees trying to bring unauthorized weapons inside the facility, but we do consider the step important. I'll need to start the setup of your visitor security clearance here, Mr. Pritchard. Could I please have your P-41? Thanks. I'll get the procedure started. It'll just be a few moments, so feel free to have a look around. I'll meet you on the other side of the frisk. Naturally, you'll have to be frisked like everyone else. No exceptions, Mr. Pritchard. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. But, sir, if you want to come through, I'm gonna have to pat you down. Yeah, it feels good, huh? Yeah, I bet it does there, cue ball. Thank you for your cooperation. Please continue. You're here. I've started the security clearance process. It will take a little while since you're covered by the Zero Protocol. All your data will be encrypted and inaccessible without your authorization. Only Facility AI will use it for ID analysis. Fully anonymized, of course. But we can go a few more steps on the tour while it's validating. ID analysis? What the hell does that mean? Give me a minute. I'll try to find out. As I said, personnel is the greatest asset, but also the greatest risk of the ICA. The work we do here exerts high-level pressure on our employees, and there is no room for mistakes. We perform a daily, multi-layered, full-body scan to guarantee that no employee will act erratically because of PTSD or other mental issues, drug use, physical health issues, external pressure, or moral hesitancy. The scan only takes a few seconds. Come on, it's this way inside. I'm sorry, but we can't proceed beyond this room until your security clearance is finalized. So why don't you have a little look around while we wait, Mr. Pritchard? It should be here shortly. Shit. We need to intercept that 47, or the facility AI will blow your cover. Get me into one of those computers and do it fast. You've got 60 seconds before all hell breaks loose. 
Security protocol overruled. Good. I'm in. And you're safe. That was a close one. Perfect timing. Your clearance just came through. Let's continue. Let's step inside. So, as you see, we are very serious about security. What we protect is, after all, core to all ICA operations. We, and we alone, store all legal work, contracts, target profiles, employee files, contract documentation and validation, and so forth. Furthermore, we handle all current operations, effectuate logistics of personnel and equipment. Our analysts do the client vetting, target profiles, and of course, offer real-time contract support to handlers and operatives. Storage and transmission of sensitive information like that takes constant vigilance to keep safe. We have a team of engineers solely dedicated to that task. And on top of that, we have a dual human authentication process. Oh, good. There she is. Hi, Imogen Royce. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Likewise. After you. This is the blast and EMP shielded call room, the nervous system of the ICA, where we store the past and facilitate the present. In general, only a handful of people can access this room. Hush and myself, plus bodyguards, and a chosen few of the engineers. I'm the most likely person to meet in here because I perform a regular physical check-in on the core console as a supplement to the remote authentication procedure. We have a strict routine of daily core maintenance. Part of that procedure is a flash process evaporating all biological matter in the room. You can see Reed through that window. It's her job to initiate the maintenance. Don't worry, we're safe as long as the safety mechanism is engaged. Even if Reed presses the button, the procedure will not happen until we leave the core room. The doors to the core room are all equipped with... <sighs> you know what, screw this tour. I know why you're really here. Cutting to the chase, I see. Knowledge is power. More importantly, knowledge is opportunity. Let me demonstrate. You have a sixth sense for irregularities. And although Hush's recent behavior has not been reported, it has no doubt brought you here. You do have authority to shut down unwanted efforts, but at heart, you are progressive and not the stickler everyone thinks you are. You have sway with the board, and as I see it, your opinion is now what decides my future and the future of the ICA. So here we go. Imagine this. Having a time schedule on a target with minute details on locations, durations, and purpose. A detailed layout of a target's actions within a defined time frame. That would transform a contract into a surgical dance of precision. No mess, no fuss, low cost. Just how I like it. I've been working on a prediction algorithm based on a combination of big data analysis and micro-targeted surveillance of defining target markers and my results are astounding. All this state of the art is nothing but heavy old fashioned machinery compared to what I offer. Analysts preparing detailed files, dedicating days, weeks to prepare our contracts, gone. Handlers and analysts supporting our operatives during missions, gone. Teams for cleanup and media manipulation in the rare case something unforeseen does happen, all of it, gone. I asked you to imagine that scenario. But what good is imagination when you can see it with your own eyes? I've set up a little demonstration for you. How are you today, sir? Three employees unaware that I can accurately predict their behavior. Firing them will result in an already clearly defined reaction. On the top left, we have Sharon Reed, who you saw downstairs. She is a dutiful and trusted employee. If she is to be fired, my algorithm predicts with a certainty of 97.8% that she will finish up her most important tasks before she leaves the building. Specifically, she will press the maintenance button within 11 seconds. Jeremy Bolt. The guard in the lower left is as tough as nails when on duty. 
but in private, he's a real mummy's boy. If fired, he will immediately call his mother and at her advice, seek out who he considers his best friend for support. My personal guard as it stands. Me? Really? Well, that explains why he's always next to me at lunch. At the top right, you see Alicia Reynolds. Bright and very passionate about her job. However, also very possessive about her contribution. My prediction is that she will try to disable the work she has done for the ICA. If she's not allowed to enjoy her results, no one is. Specifically, that means she will try to enter the call room and disable the safety mechanism. I'll leave you to consider your choice of who you want me to use for the demonstration. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. I will have a closer look. Maybe your project could play a part in the future of the ICA. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. Oh, and if you decide to leave the room, a guard will escort you around. Safety protocol. Thought I'd just mention it. She really takes the term God Complex to a whole new level. Sitting in there pulling the strings like that. I think you should take her setup and give it a spin, 47. I see potential if you time it right. Sharon Reed. I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. Jeremy Bolt, I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. What? That can't be right. Code 41 is confirmed effective for your employment status. Oh, God. Alicia Reynolds, I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. Don't mind me, sir. I'll be escorting you around. Procedure. I'm ready to see Royce now. I'll let her know. The VIP is ready to see you. Wow, you've been busy. It really is mesmerizing to see the precision of the predictions as they play out, so I can't say I blame you. I trust you're convinced by the demonstration and agree that this is the future for the ICA. I mean, how could you not? So, you'll probably want to dive into the project documentation and write your recommendations right away. You're free to use my office. I'll tell the guard outside to escort you out of the facility when you're done. I'm looking forward to upscaling my project. Goodbye, Mr. Pritchard. Both targets down, good. Just give me a second, and I'm in. You can now access the core, 47.
room and dimming the windows 47. No need to worry about intruders. Every hit the ICA ever sanctioned. Enough to shut them down for good. But first you need to locate all files referencing Diana and yourself. at you. I don't know. I get why you want to protect her. So, wipe all the data referring to the two of you from their system before we publish the rest. Okay, good. I've set up a link to an information non-profit site. When you press that button, it's up there and the whole world will know. There's no undo 47. This will shut the ICA down for good. You really okay with this? It's who you've been for so long. Maybe it's time for a change. I'll just return things to normal. No need to alert them we were here prematurely. Safety That. We're blown 47. I can hold the doors for a little while. Use the fence to get out. Go now. Personnel. Breach protocol initiated. This is bad. That means they'll shoot on sight. I'm gonna create some havoc 47. Make the core meltdown. Maybe we'll divert their attention a bit. Warning. Core overheating. Warning. Core shut down. Temperature critical. Warning. Fire detected. Personnel, breach protocol initiated. We'll do. Out. that door 47. It only opens for people with an authentic security clearance. The signal is encrypted. Without a dongle, we can't hack it.
Shit. That was tense, 47. 